Hello, I'm Paul Garrett from Always Software and I'm going to give you a short demonstration now of how to use our web service connector tool connecting to a RESTful service on the internet. Um, the service I'm going to connect to on this occasion is the Bank of England to uh, obtain currency rates and I'll just show you how I do that. If I go to System, Tools, Execute and under here I can see the Web Service Connector tool, Global Configuration. Open that up. You can see here there's a list of Web Service configurations I've already created. I'll add a new one to that. And I'll call this Bank of England. And this is a RESTful service and I don't have a WSDL for this and I don't have a previously defined definition of this. So I'm going to define the interface to this now. Could add a description to it here for just a textual description. I won't. Um, the URL of the web service, let me just look. From, from the Bank of England website, I found this information. And the first portion of this, up to the question mark, is the root URL of this service. Pop that in there. Now I could press interrogate, but I won't because it will take a little while while it goes away and tries to interrogate the service. And I know on this occasion it comes back and says, sorry, I can't find anything. So I, I, I won't bother on this occasion. So I'll go straight to operations and I'll add a new operation to the service. And I'll call this um, get euro uh, just, 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 just. Let's see. Right. it's a get operation because it's getting information and again I could describe this but I, I won't it's got a URL Paste that in there. Now, um, as you can see, this has also appeared down here as the root URL. Um, if I go back to that uh, file I'd here earlier, you can see that everything after the question mark has got these name equals, name equals, name equals. So I'm going to just take all of that and copy that into here. And now some of these I want to replace. And from their documentation, I know that FD is from date, FM is from month, etc. So I'm going to create a little parameter here called from day. Another one called from month. Another one called from year. And it's also got a two set of dates. I'll go to day, to month, to year. Okay, that's a set of parameters that apply for this service. Now, if I take from day, I can drag it into the position after the equals for from day. Missed slightly, always do. Okay, and the same with from month. I can drag it into the series here where it says Jan, and I missed. Get rid of Jan and from year. I'll drop in here. I'll get rid of the value that was already in there. And then I'll skip forward quickly and add the other parameters. I've now added 
all six parameters into that URL. I'll leave the other ones, they're not really relevant to what I'm trying to achieve here. And I say OK to that. I can test this service to make sure it has been set up correctly by pressing the test button. It'll ask me from a day, so I'll say one month Jan year 2011 to, I don't know, 7 Jan 2011. Press the test button. And it's gone away and found that service. And this is the XML it's returned. And I think in here we'll see further down. There's a whole bunch of XML in there. There should be some exchange rates if I could spot them. But anyway, it hasn't returned an error. Uh, I can't spot them at this moment. I'll close that. And say OK to that. Yes, I do want to close with that interrogation. It really doesn't matter. And that's the service saved. Close that. I can then go into a task design and create a new task here. And I call this B of E. Currency rates, and I create a step on there. It's an execute step with the web service connector. Just drag it onto the palette, and I've got no input data source on this occasion, but it could be fed from a from a query or from another um, from another web service call to a different application. Um, the service I want to call onto is my Bank of England service. The operation I want to perform on that is get the euro currency rate. The mappings, as you can see here, those parameters I've created earlier all exist now. For each of those, I can I'll just pin those functions to make it easier for myself. I'll create a fixed dynamic um, function for each one of them. So I'll join from day to this function. So I can set the value of this to a value one. And I could carry on and do the same for all the other parameters in this service and set values for them. I won't continue with that. Um, equally, I could have had an input data set here, which could have been an XML from um, from another service, or or a, or a file XML on disk, or retrieved by FTP or similar, or alternatively, it could be a record set appearing here from a query against the database. Um, either either would would work, and you could simply map them across, as I've shown you in other examples. Um, that's basically it for setting up a, a RESTful service at a simple level. I'll be looking at some more complex examples later. Thanks very much.